Hello there, Dave. Um, I hope, uh, hope everything's well with you at your end. My name's Ian McAllister. I'm the distillery manager, master distiller at Glen Scotia Distillery in Campbelltown. Uh, obviously, Glen Scotia is one of three distilleries in Campbelltown. Um, it's Campbelltown itself, one of the, of the smallest whisky region. A uh, very important part of the, the whisky making uh, fraternity in Scotland. So, yeah, I'm very, very privileged to have the position I've got. And uh, hello, folks. Uh, my name is Dave Broom. Uh, I'm from Glasgow originally and now live down in the south of England as a kind of cultural ambassador. And I've been uh, writing about drink in general for 30 years and predominantly about whiskey in, in those periods. So I've uh, done a few books, uh, made a couple of films and yeah, continually learning about whiskey and really looking forward to this session. It's going to be great fun. So today we'll have a little chat about the Glen Scotia double cask, uh, the Glen Scotia 18 year old part of the core range and the, the new Glen Scotia uh, festive uh, seasonal edition, which is the uh, sherry double cask. So they're quite, uh, quite interesting uh, bottlings. So something, something special there. No, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this because, you know, the quality of the whiskies that you've been bottling uh, have been absolutely amazing. It, and it's been so good to see Glen Scotia absolutely reborn, you know, so it's you know, yet another new one. It is a, a fantastic, fantastic opportunity to, to see what you've been up to. Let's have a dram. Yeah. Aye, indeed. So the first one I've got here, uh, I'll just show you in the box here, uh, is the double cask. Uh, and that's basically um, part of the core range, 46%. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's going to be 100% first fill bourbon casks, Dave. Uh, and it's going to get a short nine months finish in Sherry PX butts. Mm. So, I, I just hope you've got a bottle there. <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> As you can see, I've... Uh, I've uh... You, you've been sampling, absolutely. So, it's a dreadful thing to have a bottle of whiskey just getting sitting there looking at you. <laughs> Lovely oils. I love to give the glass a wee roll there and look at these oils. And it really has got a, a lovely depth to it. You know, and even something that's it's, it's young, it's still got a lovely... There's a robustness there, you know, there's a Campbelltown-esque feel yep. to it. It really is. Wonderful. Absolutely. I mean, you know, two of the words that you're using there are the ones that just spring to mind immediately uh, for me, which is that, that oiliness and, and that in a very positive way. You know, it's one of these whiskies, and I think that's a signature for me of Glen Scotia that you can almost smell the texture. You know, you, you know just by putting your nose in the glass what it's going to feel like in the mouth. You know, and it's got depth and it's got sweetness to it, but it's got this real elegant richness. Uh, and classic, classic Campbellton style, yeah. It's hugely, hugely appealing nose. It, it really is, it really is, you know, and it, it's, you know, and, and that's, I think, you know, bottles like this have been, you know, that's what was missing, that was a part of the jigsaw, it wasn't quite there for Glen Scotia at a certain period, so it's lovely to see it. Obviously, same equipment, uh, sometimes the same employees <laughs> as was making this at uh, that time period. So it, it's wonderful to see it coming together, it really is. Lovely colour there, amber, the bourbon influence there. Yeah, you get that little kind of sweet kind of chocolate character coming in, but there's some lovely soft fruit in there. You know, there's some, some real kind of peachy elements uh, for me just beginning to come through. Because yep. you have really long ferments there, you know, so, so you're going to be kind of having that, that fruity character coming, coming through as well. Tiny little bit of barley coming in uh, in the background as well. Just adding that, just enough dryness, you know, so it's not just too fat, too, too, too heavy. Give it a wee taste, yeah. You have good health, sir. Mm, lovely, really is. Rich, spicy, fruits, salinity, oiliness. Wonderful. It's so chewy, you know, it's so physical in the mouth. It comes in and it's, it's one of these whiskies that, that it's not shy, you know, but at the same time, it's not overwhelming you. It's just coming in, it kind of eases its way in. It's soft, it's unctuous. It's just sitting there and you're, you're really, really working it around your mouth. That tiny little bit of toffee coming in. Uh, almost kind of fruit sugars, you know, the fruits you're getting on, on, on the nose for me 
uh, I've kind of been car- you used the word caramelised. You know, it's, that's that's when I'm picking it up. You know, if you've been kind of stewing fruits in the oven, you get that wonderful kind of syrupy quality, and that's coming through on the palate. Uh, just, just lovely. It, it's really, you know, it really, the, the, as you say, the oils really hold it. You know, and the 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 they give it quite a length. You know, the the flavours stay with you, and it really. Uh, develops it and I think you know that's the important aspect uh, of that you know the Glen Scotia potentially the Campbelltown style is that coastal maritime um, you know the salinity and um, the oils you know beautiful oils and yeah it really just you know it brings it all together and, and that's, you just that's get that the secret. little bit of salinity just coming through in the, on, on the back of the palate as well you know and it's just yeah it's great Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, will we try the next one? Why not? Why not? Let's have another one. So, the 18 year old, Dave, is a, a, it's basically a, a, a mix of refill bourbons and it's basically getting 12 months in the sherry. So, uh, Oloroso sherry casks. Okay, so again, another finish uh, with this one, which is rather nice so refill used here rather than first fill for it was it first fill in the in a double cast yes correct so you get refill in this one with that short 12 months i'm, I'm saying short with that f- uh, finish obviously a uh, 12 months in the uh, oloroso your good health sir slange slange of our lovely legs again uh, basically as i say beautiful again you know it's very clean crisp fresh you look at the 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 oils there and the oils just stick to the glass it's a theme you're going to get running through all these whiskies is that that aspect there yeah you could watch these for ages couldn't you you could you could i love doing that i love doing that and it's always a nice clean glass and it really really works you get the oils on the side there kind of reminds me of a classic scottish summer gazing out looking at the rain running down the windows ah <laughs> well <laughs> well put well put, absolutely. So, um, the nose, yeah. Straight away with this one. And this this one's one that really, really, it, it's grown in me, you know, because I love the, the aspect that it's refill casks with this one. I think that really, really is wonderful. It's very much straight away, I get a lot of salinity, subtle floral notes, but yet yeah, you get that the, the the sherry aspect there is quite you, you know it's is just comes in you know it comes in at the tail end and again it's balanced. Yeah, I, th- I think the use of refill is is important here because you know 18 years in first fill would have probably pushed that. I mean, it would be doing a lovely whiskey, but it would have just upped that vanilla coconut aspect of it. Whereas the wood, I mean, it's it's drier than 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 the double cask. Yeah. But again, but again, lovely, lovely, lovely balance. I'm getting that just a little kind of figgy thing coming through, which is probably the the, the sherry cast just just coming in there. Uh, it's got wonderful kind of robust character to it, and it's got yeah. that kind of maturity. You know, it, it smells mature. It smells comfortable and, and confident. I've leapt ahead and I, I couldn't resist and uh, took a wee sip there. Again, I mean, texturally, it's it's magnificent, uh, but it, it's it's very it's different again to to the double cask. It's creamier somehow. It, it kind of moves into the mouth in a very in a very different way. Uh, again, that kind of oily uh, element coming through, and a rich, deep vanilla fruits. Um, you know, really is this. You you get a tropical aspect. Works really well. Yep, kind of mashed up bananas, citrus peel. That Oloroso is just in there adding, just kind of taking things down. Before things get a bit too sweet and lifted, it's kind of pulling things, adding that other dimension. So you've got in the middle of the tongue, so rather than whiskey, kind of all the flavours developing kind of in a straight line, uh, which is a lovely thing, uh, it's layering in the, in the middle. So especially in the middle of the tongue, you've kind of got top notes, you've got middle notes, and you've also got that depth coming yeah. through. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I should mention at this point, it's, it's again 46% and it's non-chilled, filtered, natural colour with this one. So again, that's, you know, that's obviously uh, really important. But again, you know, the, uh, the, the refill aspect, you know, is really, really, it's really, really interesting. It's something that uh, recently for me personally, you know, is, is really opened up a new avenue, you know, because some of the, 
the distillery characteristics in these casks are quite amazing, you know, especially from that era. Beautiful. No, indeed, it's, it's absolutely delicious. And I love that it suddenly gets a little bit spicy in the finish. You know, just as you're thinking, oh, it's, it's wonderful, it's sweet and it's rolling along, and suddenly goes, hang on a minute. I'm not finished yet. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So the next one we'll, we'll try is the Glen Scotia Sherry uh, Double Cask. Uh, so that is something that I'll need to reach down here for, excuse me. Uh, something rather, rather nice. Okay, and this is, I put a little dram there. I hope you've got one too, sir. Um, this is 100% uh, first fill bourbon casks from 2012. Uh, it is a combination of, we'll, we'll finish it in first fill Sherry PX, first fill uh, Oloroso Hogsheads, so 30% PX uh, and 70% Oloroso. And we're going to leave it in these casks for 10 months and then we're going to marry it together for a final uh, one month. So it's basically vatted and married. Uh, and again, as I say, you know, that this era when this was produced, uh, it was the last of the, the, the big, uh, before the big expansion, before we took on the extra guys. So a lot of the production from this era is uh, when there was just three of us in the distillery. So it was quite small scale. There was, we were producing roughly about 600 casks a year. So it's something special. Well, it's wonderful. Thank you for sharing it. So you're getting, yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I would say, you know, obviously the colour there, you know, it's... it's it's been in these sherry casts, but again, you're getting a lot of the bourbon influence there. You know, it reminds me a certain amount, you know, it's got that double cast background there. The first, the first filled bourbons. Very, you know, it's, it's spicy rum, juicy, juicy plums. Wonderful, really is. Obviously, you've got that distillery character coming through. You've got a lot of the, the fresh fruit element coming in. A little kind of bready element uh, as well, you know, which kind of the, the slight kind of malt element uh, just in there, like proving bread. And for me, uh, when, it, when it's neat like this, uh, the influence of the, the finishing cask, it's more PX uh, at the moment. But, uh, and it's got that kind of slightly purple perfumed quality and kind of bl and blue fruit as well, which I, I sometimes get from, from PX. So kind of blueberry uh, damson just kind of sitting there in the background that's mixing very nicely with those kind of peaches and apricots. So it's a real kind of fruit bomb. Slanger. Slanger. Mm. And there we have it again. A wonderful silky feel to it you know slightly different fruit from the other two again you know you've still got that real softness but this is really really silky fruit uh that little bit of heat you know it is that little bit stronger but hugely approachable uh lovely kind of spiciness oloroso just hanging around I, i'm picking up the oloroso towards the back of the palate yeah so kind of there's bourbon and px kind of moving in between then oloroso just slowly begins to come to come through in the end going all right guys i'm gonna add a little bit of kind of seriousness and depth uh, just in the end. So for me, much more of that dried fruit character coming through in the finish when, when it's neat. Uh, it does change with water, uh, I've found though. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, I think, you know, obviously, raisin sultanas, you know, there's quite a lot of spices in there. Um, but that bourbon, that bourbon influence is hanging about there too, you know, and it, it really, I think it really encompasses everything and, and brings it all together and really, um, absolutely sherry double cast, but it, it really holds that distillery character there, you know, it really gives it a solid foundation to obviously get these subtle aspects of the, the, the sherry casks there. And it's, you know, for me, the, the, the fruit in there, and, and, and I was kind of saying about blue fruit, and it's not just blueberry, there's a kind of wonderful kind of slow, uh, you know, slow berries uh, coming through in the palate as well, just kind of mid, in the middle of the palate to, towards the back, that kind of real, kind of slightly savoury, uh, slightly bitter uh, tang that, that you get from slow uh, that's coming in there. I, I think that's, again, just adding another dimension. Lovely, it really is, and as I say, it's, it's changing. Every time I pick the glass up, it changes. It changes all the time. It, it's quite, 
quite, it really is, as I say, initially, you know, there, there was quite a lot of the, the, the PX, you know, it really, uh, as I say, it changes to Oloroso, and then uh, finally, you know, I'm getting quite a lot of the, the bourbon aspect, which is, seems to be in the glass, you know, seems to fill the, the glass space up there, which is lovely, really is. And of course, well, get your lovely oils and the salinity yeah. and everything's, everything's there. Wonderful. But you know, that's a really important thing that you said, you know, every time you put your nose in glass, something else, and that, that for me is complexity. You know, you, when you try and define complexity, it's, you know, oh, hang on, I didn't see you. You know, it's, it's you know, if, and, and some whiskies are great, and some whiskies come in and they go, this is who I am, and it's fine, I'm balanced, boom, it's great, and, and I love them. But, and then there's others that you kind of go, ooh, hang on, hang on a minute. There's more, <laughs> you know, I need to have a longer conversation with you. And that's, that's complexity for me. That's, and this has got it. That, that's right. And I think, you know, I think potentially that is Campbelltown. You know, Campbelltown mm. itself, you know, and especially Glen Scotia, you know, it, it's, it's hopefully nowadays known for uh, the quality. But as I think that, uh, that complexity and that, um, there's always going to be something different, you know, from even the core range, you know, what we've got. Uh, it, it's always really interesting, it's engaging, uh, and potentially, you know, there's, there's someone for, or there's a drum for everyone in there. So it, it's, yeah, it really is, and it's, it's, it's fascinating, fascinating. This has been a treat, thank you. My pleasure, my pleasure. It really has, as I say, um, it's wonderful. As I say, you know, it was, it was you know, it's, it's super to catch up with you for sure. Uh, and as I say, thank you very much for sharing your time with me today. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll need to do this again for sure, that's for sure. You know, we'll, we'll need to catch up at some point and um, do it again. But face to face, I think, next time, let's, let's hope. Absolutely, sir, absolutely. Slanjavar. Slanjavar, sir.